the trail finder too in all its heavenly glory oh this is i rock and you're watching my youtube channel i rock rc all right This video I call is Afterthought. Basically, it's um, my opinion, uh, review, or overview on the Trail Finder 2 uh, based on my experience with the build and after doing a few uh, runs. So, Trail Finder 2. Um, when this Trail Finder 2 first came out, uh, I didn't get too excited about it uh, because it was, to me it was just another uh, Yoda body on a different um, chassis so didn't rush out to get it when it was first release um, waited a while until it was until finally Tower Hobbies uh, carried RC4WD and you know I could get this trail finder too at a um, bargain um, three things that come to mind um, after experiencing or going through the build and doing a few run videos uh, three words. Uh, one is simple. Simple meaning, uh, you know, when you first open the package, you do the unboxing. Um, simple uh, packaging. Uh, parts are pretty simple. Uh, you know, easy, easy to read, easy to understand. Um, sometimes the instruction manual it gets a bit confusing because it just shows you pictures and no explanation. Um, other than that. The build process is pretty simple. Um, I would say anyone can put this Trail Finder 2 together. Uh, you know, any newbie, um, uh, semi experienced or expert, um, RC hobbyist. Um, and then, um, second word that comes to mind is smooth. Uh, this Trail Finder is smooth. When you say smooth, um, it's probably the smoothest running um, crawler or scaler that I ever um, played with. Or yeah, it's pretty smooth. Um, you know, it smooths the way it crawls, it smooths the way it scales, it smooths the way it turns. Um, I'm not too sure if, if it's that smooth um, stock-wise. You know, I did a few upgrades on this Trail Finder too, uh, which basically made it. I guess I don't know if it made it really smooth but yeah really smooth uh, and then third impressive uh, a third word that comes to mind impressive uh, impressive in the way um, it's detailed uh, it, you know it's it's pretty close to uh, to look like a one-to-one -one scale um, Toyota Hilux it just impresses you um, in so many ways like from the build process to the run vids and uh, to the re really detailed scale looking um, rig. The only negative um, that I would say about this Trail Finder 2 would be the aluminum. The aluminum is not made out of grade, grade A quality. I would say the aluminum is made out of grade C quality. C meaning China. Because <laughs> basically that's where this um, rig is made, um, made in China. Um, Nothing against China. The, from my experience, you know, sometimes the quality um, that comes from out of China is, you know, not that great. Um, if you over torque the screws, um, I wouldn't use any power tools. I would just basically use your um, hand hand torque. Um, you don't want to over torque it because if you over torque it, you end up st um, stripping some threads. And some screws, um, you know, screws. The screws that come with this kit is not uh, grade A quality. It's grade C quality. Like I said the aluminum is grade C quality. C for China. Um, you know, but if you don't over torque it, you're fine. Uh, so basically, once it gets real tight, you just want to stop right there and not really tighten it. Um, yeah, I would say that's the only um, negative is uh, you know, but the quality of the aluminum and the screws is. Not grade A, but grade C. Um, other than that, um, this trail finder is awesome. Uh, I give it a thumbs up. RC4WD, thumbs up. Mm, thumbs up, thumbs up. <laughs> uh, 
um, rating out of a five star rating, meaning five is the best rating possible, I would give it a four. The only reason why I would give it a four, or why I give it a four, is because of the uh, quality of the aluminum and uh, materials and screws. Um, if if it was if it was if, you know if it came with very durable um, aluminum or grade A aluminum and screws and whatnot, I would give it a five five star rating. But I would just give it a four uh, based on um, you know the build process, the um, the ability to scale and crawl, awesome, and the you know and the looks, um, the real real scale detail looks. You know, based on that, I give it a four. Four is pretty good to me. Um, you know, it's really hard to get five to me. Five, a five star rating is pre basically the rig is perfect. Four is just close to perfect, but not perfect enough. <laughs> but no, I. Uh, like I said, I you know I didn't get too excited when this Trail Finder Two was first released. Um, you know, didn't rush out to get it, but um, in hindsight, looking back, I'm glad I did get it eventually. Um, it's one of my favorite um, RCs of all time. Uh, yeah, you know, it's very very simple. You know, real fun to uh, drive. Um, like I said, you know, every every time I play with it, I I just get more and more impressed. I'm just so impressed the way it scales, especially, um, you know, I I didn't think too much it would crawl that well, but it's a great crawler. My afterthought on the Distro Finder 2, uh, four star rating, uh, three words that come to mind, simple, smooth, and impressive. So, um, do I recommend this rig? Of course I do. Um, like I said, it's a real simple build. Um, any, anyone can do it, any, uh, any newbie, uh, novice, expert, um, you know, very fun build, um, you know, not too complicated, the performance, um, crawling, scaling, uh, very smooth, um, and it, does, it, does, it, does, it does a great job, um, no complaints, um, like I said, you know, very impressive, um, you know, and the looks, like I said, very impressive, very, very detailed, very scaled, um, you know, very eye candy, oh, eye candy! Can you see me on the eye candy? <laughs> so, um, yeah, highly recommended uh, Trail Finder 2. Um, you ha if you haven't gotten this Trail Finder 2, um, you should, it should be on your, um, num on your list, on the next RC to get, you know, on your number one. Unless you want to get the Galande 2. But that's a whole nother video. But, um, so yeah. Very impressive. Um, yeah, as you can see, my my engine is very dirty right now. After this video, I'm gonna go ahead and clean it, uh, take it all apart, and repair what I need to repair, and um, get done, do more run vids. Um, <laughs> yes, I do have run vids for this uh, coming, and okay, like I said, you know, it's very muddy and dirty right now, and that only means you know mud, a whole lot of mud. We like mud, right? We love mud. So, that's my afterthought on the Trail Finder 2. Um, once again, I just like to thank everyone, all my viewers, subscribers, uh, for watching my videos. Um, like, comment, um, thumbs up. <laughs> thank you for your support. And, you know, if you want, go ahead and comment below what you think of the Trail Finder 2 if you have it. Um, that way, um, you know, other viewers or other, other um, people, you know, anyone who's um, considering of getting a Trail Finder 2 and haven't made up their mind, uh, you can definitely help them or convince them to get a Trail Finder 2 or unconvince them of getting something else. Well, that makes sense, but or, or convince them of not getting a Trail Finder 2 and getting something else. Um, <laughs> but uh mm, that's the chain of thought now so yeah go ahead and comment below uh, what you think of this show finder too hopefully it helps somebody out and then just want to say take care guys god bless this is Iraq and I'm out shaka